Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, and the good news, oh my gosh, Tyler, you are so tall compared to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which box are you on? I'm on my short little box. Okay. I need my tall Well, one. we'll fix it for the 11. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to say that uh, the weather looks great for April 8th. It does, but you didn't ask about the five days before. The or five are you days, skipping it? I, I was kind of skipping it because I know it's not good. Yeah. I mean, we're really lucky. It looks like we're really lucky for the eclipse. I, I don't think that'll change, but certainly before we get there, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff to talk about. And I think this big map here, the overview really tells the story because the primary low, in other words, the first area of low pressure goes up into Michigan. That is a terrible track if you want anything pretty locally. And so eventually, this is tomorrow at 11 p.m., eventually the low transfers its energy to the coast. Uh, but this here, 8 o'clock Wednesday evening, we're still dealing with wintry mix in the region until that coastal low really takes the reins and says, I'm in charge. So by Wednesday night and Thursday morning, much colder air comes in and everyone flips over to snow. But that's not happening until really the second half of the storm. So the first half is a mix. The second half is all snow. And then it, the clouds and the showers of rain and snow linger a lot longer than that. So temperatures right now falling into the 30s to about 40 degrees. A couple of clouds, maybe a sprinkle in Essex County, Vermont. So as we zoom out, we've got a severe weather outbreak on deck tomorrow in Ohio. But a lot of moisture for sure. And this is all part of the storm that will come in here eventually. But you'll see we've got no problems tomorrow. Sunshine mixing with clouds. It's a dry day. Maybe the exception being Bennington and Brattleboro at 5 p.m. with a touch of rain. Even Wednesday morning, there's not a lot going on. There may be a little bit of sun. Maybe if you're in Ellenburg or Jay or Newport. But the clouds are thickening up and filling in. And by Wednesday afternoon, just pick 2 o'clock in the afternoon as a good number. That's when the mix really starts to fill in. So it's snow, sleet, little freezing rain, but mostly sleet. And also plain rain as we go through the first part of the storm. Kind of tough to accumulate a lot of snow when you're dealing with an icy mix like that. And that's still going on at 5 p.m. and deep into Wednesday evening. But then as we go through the night and especially Thursday morning at 8 o'clock, it's 100% snow. So if you're wondering when is the worst travel, it's Thursday morning without a doubt. That's when it's really snowy and when we get the most accumulation. And snow really continues for a lot of Thursday and then slowly diminishes by the evening. But there's going to be snow showers that last all the way into the weekend. We're not clearing the sky out anytime soon. So here's the snow map. Easily a foot of snow for western Clinton County and a good chunk of Essex County in New York. That includes the Whiteface area. Much less for Malone. You're on the wrong side of the mountains this time. Four to eight inches of snow there. Uh, two to four, four to eight in the Champlain Valley. Basically what that means is there's a lot of fours, there's a lot of five inch amounts. A little bit more on the New York side of Lake Champlain, a little bit less on the Vermont side. I think three and four inch amounts, St. Albans, Burlington, Middlebury. A foot plus in the Sugarbush area. And then we're very close to eight inches or so for central Vermont in the Northeast Kingdom. And we're still not expecting a ton of snow in southern Vermont. There's a lot of moisture there, but half of it is a mix. Half of it is sleet. So eight to 12 inches Ludlow on south. By the way, Rutland and Bennington County still on track for a damaging windstorm Wednesday evening, especially probably thousands of outages in those two counties. So we're watching that too. It's just showers of rain and snow Friday, Saturday. The sun starts to come out on Sunday. We should be golden for Monday. Liz. Thanks. Sarah.